Yo, everyone, Sanjay Uchiha here. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel, and I really hope everyone's been having a great year so far. We're five days in, and honestly, it's been a pretty chill five days. Hope everyone can say the same, even though I probably figure not everyone can say the same, but just stay strong. So, getting right into it, what I really wanted to cover with today's discussion video, of course, you can already tell it's going to be a Boruto slash Naruto discussion is how far should Boruto go in terms of the scale of its fights? Now, a friend of mine said something to me the other day, which really sparked the, the basis or the foundation for this little discussion video, which I won't be keeping you guys for long, is that he was saying he'll fear that we'll be having ninja fights in space. I mean, we already did have <laughs> that, um, in the last Naruto the movie with Naruto versus Toneri on the moon but the idea behind what he was saying is that we'll be getting much more of that in the coming future and it really sparked the question in my head that should Boruto as a series reach to that point where we have a bunch of battles in space would the scale of those battles be too grand or would it really hurt the the appeal of what made this series appealing in the first place. Now, let me go dive deeper into what I mean. Now, Naruto, when it just started out as a series, we started out with characters, even though they, you know, they could perform these unique and interesting abilities, manipulating different natures like fire, water, earth. The series felt really grounded. It almost... <sighs> I'm not sure if this is a really good comparison, but similar to Avatar, the fights, despite things how I think escalated in Avatar The Last Airbender, all the fights still felt grounded. There was an appeal to everything which was consistent throughout. Now, Naruto, I can't say the same for because going into Shippuden, especially towards the end, the fights got, um, let's just say, a, a lot more Dragon Ball Z S, and that's not to not Dragon Ball Z. But Naruto is a series that stands on its own, and each series has its unique style that makes it appealing. Now, I'm not gonna lie, the fights going towards the end weren't as appealing as earlier on. And this, I can back this by saying, hey, whenever there is some awesome taijutsu and amazing strategy, um, for example, most recent what I can think of is episode 65 of Boruto, which you should check out if you haven't checked out, is when we got the hand-to-hand -hand combat and the strategy that Naruto and Sasuke and Boruto pulled off in that episode, everyone was raving about it. And that's because everyone misses the old style in which fights were approached in Boruto. Now, I have another video planned in terms of if the fights in Boruto have gone back to basis and not necessarily the anime but I'll be talking about that in that video I'll be speaking more from the perspective of the Boruto manga but look out for that video but the point is if Boruto if the skill of the fights reach the point where they are in space will that kill the overall appeal will it continue to downgrade what made Naruto and Boruto as a franchise appealing in the first place? Um, the answer is yes and no. Like with everything in life, it kind of depends on how they approach it, how they handle it. I mean, choreography is going to play a very big part. Despite the setting more than likely eventually reaching space battles, as crazy as that sounds where the Naruto world is concerned, but seen as it's been done before in the last Naruto the movie at this point I you can expect anything really going towards the future of the Boruto series especially with the factors or the different characters or different groups that we have in play here we have Naruto and Sasuke who are basically the gods of the I guess the earthbound shinobi world we have the Otsutsuki clan who Similar to Momoshiki, they are basically being built up as gods from a different dimension, more or less, when you, at least when you compare them to everybody else in the Earthbound Shinobi world. And then we have the Kara group, with their leader Jigen being um, roughly estimated to be as strong as Naruto. So we are going to have some intense battles with 
ridiculous scale. Now, most of the quote-unquote space battles would be coming from this side of the Otsutsuki clan. They're the ones who would really bring it to that ridiculous level. But, I don't know. This is just a little short mini discussion. A little question to, um, I guess, stir up discussion with you guys. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, if we constantly got space battles in naruto or boruto at this point what do you think um how would you feel about that i mean at that point it would be such a far departure from the grounded fights in when this franchise started there's no denying that but at the end of the day i'd say it just comes down to how they handle it so yeah just let me leave a comment let me know if you think that would be a good bad thing and just your general thoughts. But Sanjay Uchiha, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.